Arcana. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. Will you be able to make it to the house? Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I made my life out here ever since. And living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this. The convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it.
you, fellas! Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I think... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. If you want the best, you should come with me. You might learn a thing or two. You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is. On a river, with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried. But now that we're here and settled, I must say, I'm rather happy. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it.
This is not suiting for the right boys. I'm over here a lot. You fight like my old granny. Oh, no, I'm over here a lot. What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? You certainly come see. Thank you. You Next, you have to go here, you get going. I'm going to go to ジャティシャコンガアラハテジカシカネクジャハヨチカデオンダシェアクエゴガユヤネラジャシカネイゴティナヘシタワヘイヨネジャンセンネクジーウナワネトカラニハディデホナニゴンハレワサゴルハラチ
Don't hurt. <laughs> Where's the trouble, Connor? So you tear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women. Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't they need to? Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's here, I swear you'll be the one to hear.
didn't listen. None of us would have. I'm gonna beat you senseless. You need some sense knocked into you. I'm gonna beat you senseless. You all right? There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. Are you not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! She has been gathering evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Come here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Rudin, where are you? Thank you so much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing Connor! there, and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose Connor! encourages fertility. Where are you? And. Rodents! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again.
Hello, Connor. Hello. Is something the matter? No, nothing that need worry you. I would not pry, but please know that if there was anything I could do to help, I would. It's all right. Connor already knows half of it. As you know, we've been trying to have a child, Connor, for a long time. Thus far, we have not been blessed even once. It takes its toll after a time. You must not force such things. Nature will grant you with the young one when the time is right. We hope you're right, Connor. At the very least, we are at peace here. Ah, it's good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By guessing by God, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. Sails ahoy! All hands to quarters! until she reaches the vineyard pier. Fire! Ready after fire! Thank you, Bastard! Sing! On the starboard, Captain! Either way, avoid the blasted things! To our Ready, advantage, how? Make ready, boys! Boy! 
should be safe now, but it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. Is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind saw to this. Templars. But what they intend, I do not know. Your orders? I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. 